Oh the shit. <laughs> it's gonna be a three-parter. I just went back and you know kind of saw where the other two uh, ended so I kind of missed uh, a couple of things um, in uh, with the moves as well so I want to show them first before I show the last three games yeah I got Stevie King's uh, fire start and I think that was in and uh, I got another movie for my 80s collection uh, early 80s I think High Road to China with Tom Selleck vaguely remember this one and uh, another movie for my 90s college thriller horror a la screen <laughs> uh, uh, genre that is uh, The Skulls which is ticks off all the things I really like about those kind of movies those kind of movies and the last one is the age movie that I never heard of so I'm like I'm definitely getting this it's with uh, young young Charlie Sheen and it's called The Boys Next Door so if anybody see this you know let me know what the hell is this so the last three games is the creme of the crap uh, first one I already had but I had it in like uh, the classic edition the best of edition for the GameCube uh, so I was really happy to get this one I'm gonna sell the other one on and I wanted it really you know nice condition because it's not that expensive really but you know you want to pay a bit more maybe I paid like 16 17 17 16 for this one to get like a mint copy and that is Metroid uh, the first Metroid Prime uh, for the GameCube which is absolutely one of my favorite games on the system and as a first person shooting oh my god this is good stuff so so good so happy to add that the collection and the second one is a, is a, 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 a the second one to, to the last is a game that I never thought I'm going to get on the Wii U but I saw this one from a store and they were like selling the really cheap new and uh, I think this was like £16 and uh, I, I basically bought this one not for the Wii U version but the Wii version so now you probably know what movie, uh, game I'm talking about and that is Rodea the Sky Soldier and uh, if you know this game, you probably heard of that the the, the Wii version, uh, which is based on the the 3DS of the 3DS game or a DS game. Ah, shit! And Rudy the Sky Soldier on the Wii U is not that good. That's what I basically heard. So I haven't it open yet. Let's have a look inside because it's supposed to have both games both manuals so I'm definitely gonna get uh, an empty Wii case uh, uh, print out a nice uh, inlay for it and uh, put the, the disc and uh, the manual in it and then um, have an extra Wii game so yeah it's a two disc up we got the first is the the Wii game and then the Wii U game uh, and do you have two manuals yeah, we got the. It's not really a manual though for the. I was for the, the Wii U version one. It's like a tiny, tiny thing that's disgrace to call a manual. But the the, the Wii one is a really nice, little bit thicker manual. So that's cool. So I'm definitely gonna get that and you know, divide these two games. And the third one is a heavy, heavy hitter for me. At least for me, on the what is this some tape on it? It's a very nice nick, but something on there I can get that off after maybe the video. This is a heavy hitter for me. Uh, always wanted this game, so uh, I'm being willing to pay like 45, even like 50 for this one. So when this guy came up on Facebook and said buy it now for like 30, 36 pounds uh, 35, 36 pounds maybe uh, depends how much the pound is now 
yeah, around 35, 36 six pounds, or you know, all in. I'm like, I snagged it. It's a game I always wanted to try. Haven't tried it yet, and it's, it's said to be like a true uh, gem when it comes to this series, and that is Star Fox Assault. Uh, complete in box, and uh, this is the UKV version, the the British uh, version of it, which is fine by me. Um, the Swedish version is really hard to find and it's expensive as fuck, but. Uh, I don't really look for Swedish versions. If it's either UKV or SWD, which is the Swedish one, I don't really care. Any of those. Fantastic. I like the um, how it looks here on the front. It looks really inviting to play. And I heard that Das uh, calls Dolores says this, this is a real gem in the series. And probably the best one of them all. Because I wasn't really into Star Fox, definitely not on uh, Super Nintendo. I, I thought it looked like shit. Probably was good, but on the Nintendo 64, yeah, I kind of liked it. But sold my copy on, and uh, it's not something I, you know, really, really need to have in my collection. But this one I really wanted. So fucking hell, it's not many games left on the cube now. It's that robot. Guy, what's he called? That works for that family, that kind of game. I want. So it, it became three parter. I'm so disappointed that I couldn't make this video really short and at least have them in two parts. But it ended up in three parts, and I know everybody doesn't like to watch. I got more stuff. Oh, holy shit, I forgot about this. <laughs> I, can't, I can't just look right and I'm like, who? What's this? So yeah, I finally got my Nest Mini for retail price because I, I'm not I'm not I'm not going for those scalpers and what they're doing. No way. And uh, suddenly, after six months of looking at this bastard, uh, I found one for retail price, uh, which is awesome. Have I played it? No, I haven't. <laughs> Have I made it into all the games in it yet? All the Nest games? No, I have not. At the same time, when I got that, I got the uh, the retro line uh, gamepad, uh, which is uh, with the longer cord and with the turbo button as well. That was like 15 uh, bucks, and then I got this one as well for like 15 bucks and price. And I haven't tried it yet if it really works good with uh, with it. And that's the Edge joystick. Both of these came with sheet codes as well for the NES games on the NES menu. So, and that one looks exactly like the, the one we, we had on the, not I had, I, I didn't have it. I've had it, but I didn't have it back in those days because I didn't, wasn't really into NES. I was a Commodore man. So yeah, it's, sounds like it's micro switch. Uh, not as sturdy maybe as the original, not as heavy, but it definitely feels really nice. So with a long cord as well. So I'm happy to get that for if it works good for the Nest Mini. So finally, finally got that fucking thing. So yeah, that was it. Three parts, and this already up to almost ten minutes into part three. So sorry about that. Until next time, guys. Be nice.